that. What What are your three bits of angel? I say bits. Go on. Yeah. We had triplets. I and my wife had triplets a couple of months ago. <laughs> We're so excited uh, for you. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Trust you. Power, tripling power wherever we go. Um, so for those of you okay brilliant so we're now live on youtube i think we should probably start amy do you want to just give me a thumbs up if we're ready to start or if people are still trickling in do let me know um uh, just just uh, yeah. two more minutes two oh conflicting views that's all uh, we, we said con connection over perfection for today which is really cool so we've got two minutes to go um so hamzy I haven't seen you in this last year, but I have thought about the things that you said often, often since having since having you with us last year. Um, I've still got this image of you knocking on doors as a sort of scout young lad, just talking truth to power. And what have you been up to this year? Um, even with the impact of COVID-19, I've been able to successfully mobilize over 8,000 people uh, to use digital tool to track uh, COVID vaccines, COVID resources, and even distribution of relief materials to people at the grassroots, ensuring social justice, accountability, and how government is engaging citizens. So I've held a couple of webinars and I've, I've used digital tool using hashtag to follow COVID-19 money both in Nigeria and in seven other African countries. Blooming heck, Hamzy, that is absolutely incredible. I'm trying to think what I've done this year and it's not quite that impressive. But then again, that's why we, we have you, isn't it? And um, now I don't want to get into the two juicy bits because we've got more and more people coming in, including Vinny, who is at Chadwick International. So that's where our greener is, cleaner school is. Um, oh, they've got a question for the panelists there. So welcome back, Vinny. All good to start. Right, off we go. So welcome back. If you are just joining us, this is the GSL at Home Festival. We are delighted to welcome you from all over the world. And hopefully you have just watched some of the videos from teams of young people around the world making a difference in their community. Now, I am absolutely, I'm tingling. I feel like I'm going to cry in the best way uh, to have Hamzy in our presence. So Hamzy, I'm gonna get my notes because there's so much to say about you. Um, but Hamzy spoke with us last year and he has an incredible gift at holding power to account and not just challenging power, but ensuring that leaders hold true to their commitments, especially when it comes to social justice. So he uh, founded something called Code. Is that right? Connected Development? Yeah, and this is the largest accountability and transparency organization in the whole of Africa. That's kind of a big deal. Um, to date, they have assisted ensuring implementation of $10 million in 191 communities and you know that that program which is follow the money empowers communities to hold the, the power to account so it's a real people powered project he's also just as you do on the executive board of african youth initiative on climate change advising on communication strategies and campaigns uh, using technology to shape and actualize the SDGs or the sustainable the sustainable development goals. So the SDGs, we are, we love the SDGs here at GSL. And Hamzi, you were just talking about how you have been using technology over COVID times. For those that are joining, do you mind telling us a little bit more about what you've been up to? Yeah, sure, it's great to be back. Um you know, joining the festival in 2021. I've used um, Twitter and other social media tool, leveraging on our mass followership and mobilized uh, over 8,000 young people uh, to use the hashtag follow COVID-19 money to aggregate data on how much money has gone into COVID-19 relief, both from government, international aid organization, and how this money is trickling down to the grassroots and how citizens are adding their voice to shape you know, this conversation, but most importantly, we've also used technology to, to highlight how government is providing vaccines, uh, budgeting for vaccines, and we're leading conversation, bridging that communication gap between the, the budget holders, which are government, and the people who are meant to benefit from these public resources. 
Amazing. So it's always about holding those key stakeholders, uh, the people, the humans, the real lives at the end. So Hamzi, I'm going to hand over to you because you uh, you have the brilliant position of announcing our Global Goals competition winner. So I'm going to leave you to it. Is that all right? That's fine. Thank you. And, uh, <laughs> he can handle it. He's just uh, been sorted out $10 million. I think he can handle this announcement. But please stay tuned. And just a final reminder that even though this is a competition, it's not competitive because we want you to learn from each other just as we are continuing to learn from you. And we're all part of a big movement. But over to you, Hamzi. Thank you very much, Ella. I'm really excited to be back at the Global Social Leaders Festival. Um, the global goal is really important because this would shape the next decade. And for me, speaking to emerging and young leaders, uh, without you, we cannot achieve the sustainable development goal. So whatever happens in the next nine years, it is you and I that would shape that development agenda. It is you and I that would implement it, but most importantly, it is you and I that would learn from it and mobilize our friends to take action. Young people have all the powers. They have the energies, they have the ideas. The world is led by young people and the world is led by the ideas and the power of young people in organizing, in educating, in amplifying. Today with COVID-19, we've seen greater collaborations among young people and the power belongs to young people and we are shaping it in engaging the implementation of the SDGs. And I'm really excited that you know, we are all part of that journey. Uh, in, and in celebrating the efforts and impact of uh, GSL young people, we're taking real action towards this goal. I've watched some of the videos and I'm really amazed and inspired by what young people are doing, even with the impact of COVID-19. And I want to send a shout out, you know, to all the teams who were not able to complete their projects due to the ongoing impact of COVID-19. You know, we recognize you and we appreciate you for taking actions and, and contributing towards a better world that is worthwhile for all of us. We're immensely proud to say that despite the lockdown, all the difficulties and the challenges that came with the global pandemic, 448 teams from 73 countries, oh wow, we uh, completed these challenges and submitted their final report. And you should all be proud. And thank you and congratulations to your resilience and, and passion in challenging, in challenging times that we live in. And we've seen really high standards of submission. Uh, and, and this is, uh, you know, this is unprecedented uh, in, in our history and, and, and hosting the GLS Leaders uh, uh, Summit. Uh, and massive thanks to our parents, you know, parents, our teachers, and of course, all the young people who participated actively. The winner of the GLS Global Competition 2020-2021 are students of the Rajkumar College, Rajkot in India for their project Adira. The judges believe that this project recognizes a very important need that affects the lives of millions of people, really addressing an underlying cause of lack of girls' education. The project focuses on a single clear issue that has far-reaching implications for health, for gender, for education, and the society at large. The theme showed a demonstrable understanding of the Sustainable Development Goal with well-defined analysis of this project's impact and relevance to them addressing central around goal six SDG, which showed the interconnectedness of issues well. The judges especially appreciate the insightfulness and thoughtfulness of the project understanding, the specific need and planning, effective rollout and carefully direction of its implementation. The final submission clearly demonstrates the learnings, the skill, the knowledge of a community gained. Winners, you know, this team, Adira from the Raj Kumar College, Raj Kot, India. Wherever you are, please put your hands together for them. And of course, we have runner up. Uh, we have runner up. And the first runner up is Apricos, our own English high school in the United Arab Emirates. James Tem, Bangkok International Preparatory and Secondary School, Bangkok Prep in Thailand. Take me to school. The Notre Dame International School, Nakaregu, and One Choice.55 Life, Colegio Anglo Colombiano, Colombia. 
I'm really excited to be honored to announce the winners and the runner up. And I'm proud that your generation is inspiring my generation and older generation, not only to act, but to guide, to support, and to continue to amplify. Thank you for giving me this honor. And I look forward to more exciting opportunities to collaborate. Yeah, go Hamzy. Thank you so, so much. And a huge congratulations. Please excuse me, my virtual background for some reason sometimes needs a top up. Um, Hamzy, what you have what you've worked with thousands of people, correct? You must have worked with thousands of people and you yeah. must have yeah. sorry, millions, millions. Oh my gosh, of course. Um, I'm wondering you must have found yourself in a position like this before where you've either won an award or maybe you were up for an award and didn't win it. Um, what, what, would you, what advice would you have for people that have won for now and for people that have just joined in the competition? Well, for the people that have won, uh, the fact that you've been called a winner today does not mean others who are runner up or who didn't even get recognized are losers. Now, what this means is uh, it creates an opportunity for you to continue to learn and to scale, but most importantly, leaving no one behind and sharing the successes and, and, and ensuring that this recognition goes not only to your team, but your school and your country at large, because you're making people proud. And for those who uh, you know, for those who did not get recognized and are not announced as a winner, what this has also shown is one, uh, whatever you're doing is contributing to the global agenda. Whatever you're doing is also contributing to, you know, to addressing our pressing needs and issues in the society. And you should be proud. You should be proud that you're doing something because there are millions of people out there that are not doing anything. But you have challenged yourself. You have taken the mantle of leadership and you're doing something. And, and what is encouraging is for you to continue to do that thing because our reward uh, our reward is not about the awards and recognition. Our reward is living a fulfilling life and be happy and contributing your own quota to Mother Earth and, and ensuring that we're able to sustain Mother Earth beyond, you know, the crisis that climate change brings. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Hamzi. That's really... It really reminds me of um, one of my favorite authors, Lynn Twist. She says that we're moving away from this you or me world and we're moving towards a you and me world. And exactly as you're right, if we can, because we all have egos, you know, we if we can get out of our own way and recognize our achievements for our achievements, for our contributions and work together, we're going to make such a bigger difference together and real life impact, which is much more than an award. But that said, huge congratulations to our winners. Um, for those of you um, that were interested to learn more, you can see the videos of our winners on our YouTube page. And also we will be live at 1.45, all oh, that's like now in one minute, uh, you will be able to find out which of the organisations or young people movements have been commended. Um, but just remember that all of you are commended and we don't even mean that in a wishy-washy way. What we mean to say is that this taking part is an achievement and something that I really love to see and to read and to hear about is when young people are looking to apply for a new education place, say perhaps a college or a university, and they talk about the things that they learned, especially from their failures. And I hope that GSL has given you time and space to learn a lot and to get a taste of what it feels like to be part of a community making a difference. All right, now we have got a very special interview available for you on YouTube right now. This is with our uh, Amy Manda. Oh, fantastic, it's already here. So Amy Manda, who is obviously our head of GSL, I say obviously, the, the lovely Australian lady that you saw earlier. Um, so she is exploring small actions, big impact with Charles Eisenstein. Charles is an author who's super passionate, who really is very against this consumer culture that we live in. Um, and he his, his work is immersed in how this story of separation um, is, yeah, contributes to the world being the way it is. And one of his main goals is to present an alternative story of interbeing. So you can go to YouTube and find that on there. Otherwise, we'll see you back on the in the Global Assembly room or one of the other rooms. And finally, got to say, absolutely loving that you are 
that you are congratulating on here. That is so good. I'm loving seeing you engaged. We need more of that engagement back in here at 2.30, which is when we're talking about circular fashion with the Ellen MacArthur Foundation. So see you back in here at 2.30. And there's some links in the chat. So do have a look.